Hello, my delightful demon spawn. Welcome back to the Soul Calibur credit quest. Today we'll be playing as Mitsurugi. Yeah. Uh, Mitsurugi is uh, the, the samurai dude. Samurai dude, bro. And uh, his story has been the same uh, since, you know, ever since the beginning. Uh, man wants Soul Edge for XYZ reason, tries to find Soul Edge, and when he does, gets disappointed that it's a fake and destroys it. Or, or not, not that it's a fake, that it's cursed. And once he finds out it's a cursed blade, he's like, nah, fuck this. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much n none of that's, uh, none of that's changed. Like, ever since Soul Edge. It's been exactly the goddamn same. Also, how did... <laughs> Look at this. How did Huang... How did he bounce off that shit? <laughs> uh, I... I... <laughs> this game works in very weird and mysterious ways. I, I'm just saying. Okay. So, yeah. Uh... It seems like the desyncing from last episode has stopped. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother re-recording it. So, uh, I'm sorry to, for people who are really looking forward to me playing as Keelik. But, uh, yeah. Still got no idea how to pronounce that fucker's name. But I don't gotta worry about it no more. I'm playing as Mitsurugi now. Uh, so, fun fact. Uh, in the arcade version of this game, at least in certain regions, uh, Mitsurugi is actually not in the game, but his moveset still is. Uh, in some countries where uh, samurai are looked were looked down upon, uh, they decided to do like the same thing that the Korean version did with Huang, except this time around they couldn't just have Huang replace him again because Huang became too popular. <laughs> he became too too much of a known character. So they were like, okay, so how the fuck do we take this character and we can't re-replace him with Huang again because then people are just going to be like, you, you're missing a character. Like, you just left out a character. So they needed someone else. They needed to make another character to, fill the, to do the exact same thing. But also probably, like intentionally not get the same notoriety as Huang. So in doing so, uh, they made a character named Arthur, um, who is effectively just Mitsurugi with the same clothing style, basically, maybe with some alterations to make him look, look less samurai-y. Like, same sword and everything. And, uh, literally just... <laughs> They, they gave him blonde hair and an eye patch. And said he was a knight instead of a samurai. I don't know where they got off thinking that was a good idea. But alas, that's what they did to try to censor Mitsurugi for a second time. Uh, eventually, in Soul Calibur 2, they, they just said, fuck it and just left him as is for all regions and nobody seemed to give a shit. Uh, although in Soul Calibur 3, uh, much like Lee Long, much I, I mentioned Lee Long was kept as a bonus character in Soul Calibur 3. I think I said that during Maxi episode. Uh, Arthur is actually a bonus character in Soul Calibur 3, which is rather peculiar. <laughs> and like he still keeps a lot of the same like design philosophies as Mitsurugi, so it's even more confusing that he got replaced. <laughs> like, what was the point? <laughs> like, what, what was the point? Just, the 90s were fucking weird, man. 90s were weird. But yeah. Uh, anyway, we're already at Inferno. Uh, let's see if we get a, a no continue episode. This cheeky fucker. He poked me. That's all he did. He crouched on the ground and poked me. That's all he did. 
Okay. <laughs> Good for you. All right. Nobody's listening to you right now, but sure, you can go ahead and say it. After countless battles, the Demonic Blade Soul Edge was in Mitsurugi's hands. En route back to his homeland, pirates attacked him on the high seas. Mitsurugi was completely surrounded by the bloodthirsty pirates. His sm he smiled without fear as he looked down the barrels of their guns and murmured, I've had enough of duels. You're just what I need to try the blade of my new sword. This was the last anyone heard of the lone samurai known as the mercenary in the wartime age. Uh-huh. So I just got proven wrong. Wow. <laughs> so maybe it's just coincidental that Soul Edge and Soul Calibur 2 have the same endings. So I don't remember any of his other ones. That's odd. I guess they tried to make him go heal, kind of? Maybe? Question mark? I don't know, bro. Anyways, next time on the Soul Calibur Credit Quest, we'll be playing as Sophitia. Sure is her. With everything said and done, I have been Reaper Vegas, and I will see you all next time.